Hello, my name is Huan Shi. I'm the corresponding author of this paper titled Effect of Intertumor Administration on the Biodistribution of Copper 64 Labeled Gold Nano Shells. To explain the purpose of this paper, we have first to know gold nano shells and their important application on photosomal ablation cancer therapy. Nano shells are spherical nanoparticles with a dielectric dielectrical core and a metal shell where the plasma resonance frequency is determined by the relative size of the core and the metal shell layer. By adjusting the relative core and shell thickness, nanoshells can be fabricated that will absorb or scatter light across the visible and near infrared region that's between 700 to 1300 nanometer on the spectrum. In this region, the optimal transmission through tissue is optimal. The gold nano shells we synthesized have a 120 nanometer diameter silica core and around 14 nanometer gold shell with a maximum absorbance at close to 800 nanometer. So when the nano shells accumulate in the tumor, a laser of 800 nanometer can be applied to irradiate at the tumor site and the particle will absorb the light and convert that to heat. The local heat will destroy the cancer cells around the particles but leave the healthy tissue intact. The nanoshell based photosemal ablation is in clinic trial now with great potential because it provides a minimal invasive way that can rapidly kill cancer cells without damage to the healthy tissue. However, the accumulation of nanoshell in solid tumor through the common enhanced permeability and retention effect is very limited. Therefore, the efficacy of the subsequent therapy is hindered. In order to improve the tumor uptake of the particles, uh, researchers have tried many different ways. We have tried um, using antibody, peptides, and small molecules to attach to the surface of gold nanoparticle so we can have better uh, targeting to specific um, sites. However, recent uh, publication, including our own previous publication, found that those improvements is uh, limited as well and much lower than our expectation. Therefore, we in, uh, investigated the direct intratumoral administration method and hope to find this one will increase the nanoshell accumulation. And the result is very encouraging. We do find the accumulation of nanoshells in the tumor have been dramatically improved and their concentration in other healthy tissue decrease. Therefore, the results suggest intratumoral administration might be a better way for nanoshell-assisted photosemal cancer therapy. Well, I hope you enjoy reading this paper and find the results are helpful to your own research. Thank you.